Hey, hello, this is Nana. It is Jeff from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, I am writing. Well, I'm not really writing, but I'm making this recording to say happy birthday. And uh, sorry I couldn't be there, but I, I plan on being there for Thanksgiving. And, uh, then in one story I remember um, about you was, I believe it was Jennifer's wedding. You and I uh, went out on the dance floor and we showed everyone up. Um, Nana, you deemed to be quite the uh, mover and shaker. Um, anyhow, I want to thank you and Nana for the overcoming spirit that you have, I believe it was contagious, uh, and you imparted it, you gave it to my mom, she gave it to me, and uh, so I want to thank you Nana and Granddad, they're great, suave, and uh, anyhow, I love you, and hope you have a great, great, great birthday. And I'll see you in November. Happy birthday to you. Love you, Nana. Okay, we are inside my room. My laptop, my books, and no, that is not an illusion. That bet. That bed is made. Hallelujah. Hey, Nana and Granddad. Uh, it's me again. And uh, once again, happy birthday, Nana. And also, I wanted to uh, thank you and Granddad for making a monthly uh, investment. And uh, monthly, you know, sending me money every month. And your, your investments were not in vain. They helped towards... You know, my tuition or my health payment or uh, that laptop and paid for a lot of my books. So, uh, thank you and I love you. And also, um, I make reference in this speech uh, to the body of Christ helping me fulfill what God called me to do. And, uh, you know, although uh, your names weren't mentioned, you are part of the body of Christ that carried me uh, along the way to to uh, allow me to come into the full potential that God has for me. You and all the Sims kids carried me in your thoughts and prayers. So for that, I am eternally grateful. Uh, thank you guys. I, I love you and I will be seeing you in November. No. Th sorry, uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, I will see you later. Love ya. Bye. And I want to work an unbelievable, unbelievable spirit about him. And he truly exemplifies Pastor Hagen's motto I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. This uh, young man is sitting right over here, Mr. Jeff Rose. Jeff, wave at everybody right over there. Jeff, thank you. You may be seated. Jeff wrote me a note on Facebook, which is wherever all the students contact me anymore. And if you have any pictures tonight, please, if you post them on Facebook, please tag me in the photo. All right. And tag Pastor Hagen, he said. All right. And RBT. So just tag us all. We want to see the pictures. Jeff said this, we ha he said, I really want to thank and admonish the students. I want to let them know that the reason I am graduating is not because I showed up for class, but it's because the body of Christ was functioning. And because it was functioning, I was able to do what God wanted me to do. Everyone offered to help, from helping me put the wheelchair in my car to carrying my bag to class. Any way you look at it, I'm here because of them. My point, I want to encourage people to do two things when they leave Rama. The first is to join a local church and be part of a body. Because in order for people to reach their full potential, they must be rightly related to the body of Christ. Which brings me to my second point. 
I say rightly related because it's important that there be no walls of separation or pride for this one. I have learned how to ask for help. Asking for help was the hardest thing for me to do when I was diagnosed at 18 years old. For three years, my life was a living hell and I was headed down a very destructive path. But when I got saved and joined the church, some of the people began to show me that it was okay to ask for help. I couldn't help them physically, but they would begin to open and share some of their struggles with me and I could pray for them. I began to see that most people had an affliction of some kind. The only difference is you can see mine. My heart goes out to the people that try to hide their afflictions because of pride. When you are rightly related to the body of Christ, the Lord can bring friendships your way that can help bring those, full, those walls of separation down. When they come down, then you can develop into your full potential. I can't take credit for who I am today. I am who I am because the body of Christ was functioning. I am who I am because I've learned to ask for help. I want, and Jeff says, I want to thank you for everything that you've done. Jeff, we want to say thank you to you for a great inspiration. And thank you to his classmates who've helped him make this night possible. Now our Rhema School of Worship. This time we have two students, Jeff Rose and Christine Quimby, who are not able to negotiate the stairs to the platform. Reverend Kenneth W. Hagen will at this time present their baton to them.